everyone and welcome, Gaffemus here, and today I'm just doing some silly little video. Top 10 deaths in Crash Bandicoot Warped. Why am I doing this video? Why the hell not? Edie recently bought this game on the PSN, and while I was watching her play it, I was just like, hmm, they put a lot of effort into those death animations. There's literally a death animation for every single mob in the game. I wonder which one's funnier. And this video was the result of that thought. So, yeah, here it is. Okay, so number 10 is when you get kidnapped by a pterodactyl while running away from the Stegosaurus. The reason why this is only number 10 is it's not very easy to die from these things. Plus also, there's that one on that one level that doesn't kill you but takes you to a hidden part of the level. But, you know, these guys are probably only looking out for their babies and probably see you as food. Wait, does that mean Crash gets eaten? Oh, poor Crash. Number 9 goes to the clumsy monkey. And yes, I am making up most of these names as I go along. Now, this little fella doesn't even look like he knows you're there, and definitely doesn't look like he's trying to kill you. But if you're stupid enough to walk into him, then he will drop all of his pots and one of them will land on your head. I do kind of feel sorry for the monkey. All he's probably trying to do is take them pots to where his master wants them, and then you turn up and ruin his day! Number 8 is a strange one. It's where you get abducted by the guys in the tiny flying saucers. But, where do you go? There's no way you could fit in that tiny thing. Unless it's like the TARDIS, of course. No, my theory is that you're not really being abducted, but either being teleported away or broken down into tiny particles so you can fit in the tiny ship. It's kinda creepy. Number 7 is from the underwater levels. Now, I hate these levels, I'd say they're probably the worst type of levels in the entire game. And these little pufferfish don't make these levels any easier. With the annoying controls while underwater, it can be very easy to bump into one of these guys and then BAM! You're inflated up just like the fish. This is kind of funny for the first 4 or 5 deaths, then it just gets annoying. Number 6 is not actually one of Crash's deaths, it's actually one of Coco's. Yes, this is still valid, as I didn't say the deaths actually came from Crash himself, I said they were from the game. While on the jet ski levels, you have to avoid cannon fire from a pirate ship. But if you do get hit, be prepared to go flying. I really don't know why they found the need to make it so you go so far, but it is funny as hell. As these are pretty easy to avoid, you won't be seeing this death too much. Unless you're like me and wanted to teach Coco how to fly. Number 5 is one that I had not encountered until trying to die. In the tomb levels there are some spike traps that you have to avoid. Now, these are some of the easiest traps to avoid in the game and I really can't see you getting hit by them unless you are very careless or doing a time trial. But if you do manage to get hit by one, Crash will, instead of getting impaled, jump to the ceiling and cling on for dear life. But technically, he doesn't get killed by the spikes. So is it fear itself that kills him? Because once the spikes go back down he could easily just jump down and continue on. Right, now we're getting into my favourite ones of all time, no matter how many times I see them, I never get bored of them. Number 4 is from the Two-Headed Ogres. Now, this one I like because it kind of breaks the fourth wall. When Crash comes flying into the screen, he should in theory just keep going, but he doesn't. Instead, he acts as if Crash is inside your TV, literally, and he smashes against the glass as he goes flying. This is, from what I can tell, the only time they break the fourth wall in the game, unless you count his silly little dance, so yeah, this step animation is kind of unique. Number 3 is another one of Coco's deaths from the jet ski levels, this time from hitting one of the guys in the rowboats. Now, I feel it would have been enough if you had just destroyed the boat with the jet ski, but no. The guy who is just rowing around in circles gets so angry he hits Coco on the head with his oar so hard that you lose sight of her. It's just brutal. Also, I hope Coco knows how to swim. Number 2 is another one I had never found until I was actually looking for them, and even then I almost missed it. On the later tomb levels there's a jumping sarcophagus. Now, yes, I know, if you touch it, it will kill you by landing on you, but if you spin it, a mummy comes out and it starts chasing you around. Now, if he catches you, he gives you the hug of death, apparently. But is it really a hug of death or a hug of thanks? I mean, you did just free him from his sarcophagus. Whatever it is, it's a hug of losing a life. And finally, number one, the moment you've all been waiting for, or 
hop, skip to. It comes from one of the first mobs in the game, the frog. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain why this is my favourite. Okay, so while, yeah, it is quite funny on its own, I feel there is also a deeper meaning to this one. Now, when the frog kisses you, he turns into a prince, I think. But if fairy tales are to be believed, breaking that spell, or curse, requires a kiss from your true love. So, on that logic, does that mean Crash and the Frog Prince are meant to be together? And is there something Crash isn't quite telling us? I mean, that is definitely a prince, not a princess. And how does this even kill you? Is it because after the screen fades to black, the prince and Crash go off and, well, talk? We will probably never get official answers to these questions, so I'd like you to let me know what you think down below. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my silly video. I know I missed some deaths out. If your favourite wasn't mentioned, please let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and share and all that other stuff you do on this website. Yeah. Until next time guys.